Hi guys, this is Fars and welcome to Farzolozi and this tutorial is for the Photoshop beginners who are thinking to join in Photoshop and for those who want to the details of Photoshop tools. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to toolbar is organized and how to access its many hidden tools. Includes a complete summary of the nearly 70 tools available in Photoshop. So we will learn all about Photoshop tools and the tools bar. The toolbar is where Photoshop holds the many tools we have to work with. There are tools for making selection, for cropping and retouching images and blah blah blah. We will start a look at the toolbar itself including how the toolbar is organized and how to access the many tools hidden within it. Then we will look at each and every tool in the toolbar with a quick summary of what each tool is used for. I'm using Photoshop CC 2020, but you can follow along with the earlier version as well. The Photoshop toolbar is located along the left of the screen. By default, the toolbar appears as a long single column, but you can expand it into a shorter double column by clicking on this icon, clicking on this double arrows icon at the top. Click the double arrows again to return to a single column toolbar. Let's look at how Photoshop toolbar is organized. While it may seem like the tools are listed randomly, there is actually a logical order to it. At the top, we have Photoshop's Move and Selection tools. And directly below them are the Crop and Slice tools. And then the Measurement tools, followed by Photoshop's Many Retouching and Painting tools. And then Drawing and Type tools. And finally, we have the navigation tools at the bottom. This tool in the toolbars is represented by an icon and there are many more tools available than what we see. A small arrow in the bottom right corner of a tool icon means that there are more tools hiding behind it in that same spot. To view the additional tools, click and hold on the icon or right click in Windows or Ctrl and click on Mac on the icon then the menu will pop up and you will see all the tools so now that we have learned how photoshop's toolbar is organized let's look at the tools themselves at first here is the move tool keyboard shortcut is v the move tool is used to move layers selections and guides within a photoshop document enable auto select to automatically select the layer or group you click on then the Artboard tool. The Artboard tool allows you to easily design multiple web or UX layouts for different devices or screen sizes. Then the Rectangular Marquee tool and keyboard shortcut is M. The Rectangular Marquee tool draws rectangular selection outlines. Press and hold Shift as you drag to draw a square selection. Then the Elliptical Marquee tool. The elliptical marquee tool draws elliptical selection outlines. Press and hold shift to draw a selection in a perfect circle. Then there is a single row marquee tool. The single row marquee tool in Photoshop selects a single row of pixels in the image from left to right. Then the single column marquee tool. Single column marquee tool used to select a single column of pixels from top to bottom. And now the lasso tool. Keyboard shortcut is L. With the lasso tool, you can draw a free from selection outline around an object. Then polygonal lasso tool. Click around an object with the polygonal lasso tool to surround it with a polygonal straight edged selection outline then the magic lasso tool the magic lasso tool snaps the selection outline to the edges of the object as you move your mouse cursor around it then the object selection tool this is a new feature of photoshop cc 2020 and the keyboard shortcut is w the object selection tool 
let's go select an object just by dragging a rough selection outline around it then the quick selection tool the quick selection tool lets you easily select an object simply by painting over it with a brush enable auto enhance in the option bar for better quality selections then the magic one tool photoshop's magic one tool selects area of similar color with a single color the tolerance value in the options bar sets the range of colors that you will be selected and then crop tool keyboard shortcut is c the crop tool is used in photoshop to crop an image and remove unwanted areas uncheck delete cropped pixels in the option bar to crop an image non-destructively then the perspective crop tool use the perspective crop tool to both crop an image and fix common distortion or perspective problems then the slice tool the slice tool divides an image or layout into similar selections which can be exported and optimized separately then slice select tool use the slice select tool to select individual slices created with the slice tool and then the frame tool keyboard shortcut is k the frame tool lets you place images into rectangular or elliptical shapes and now the eyedropper tool and keyboard shortcut is i photoshop's eyedropper tool samples colors in an image increase sample size in the photoshop's for a better representation of the sampled areas color then 3d material eyedropper tool use the 3d material eyedropper tool to sample material from a 3d model in photoshop then the color sample tool the color sampler tool displays color values for the selected areas in an image up to four areas can be sampled at a time view the color information in photoshop's info panel then the ruler tool the ruler tool measure distance locations and angles great for positioning images and elements exactly where you want them then the note tool the note tool allows you to attach text based note to your photoshop document either for yourself or for others working on the same project notes are saved as part of the psd file then the count tool use the count tool to manually count the number of objects in an image or to have photoshop automatically count multiple selected areas in the image then the spot healing brush tool keyboard shortcut is j the spot healing brush tool in photoshop quickly remove blemishes and other minor problem areas in an image use a brush size slightly larger than the blemish for the best result then the healing brush tool the healing brush lets you repair larger problem areas in an image by painting over them hold alter in the windows and option in the mac and click to sample good texture then paint over the problem area to repair it then the pass tool with the pass tool draw a free from selection outline around the problem area then repair it by dragging the selection outline over an area of good texture then the content hour move tool use the content hour move tool to select and move part of an image to a different area photoshop automatically fills the hole in the original spot using elements from the surrounding areas then the red eye tool the red eye tool removes common red eye problem in a photo resulting from camera flash or lights then the brush tool keyboard shortcut is b the brush tool is photoshop's primary painting tool and this is the one of the most used tool in photoshop use it to paint brush stroke on a layer or on a layer mask then the pencil tool the pencil tool is another of photoshop's painting tools but while the brush tool can paint soft as brush stroke the pencil tool always paint with hard edges then the color replacement tool the color replacement tool is used in photoshop to easily replace the color 
of an object with a different color. Then the mixer brush tool. Unlike the standard brush tool, the mixer brush in Photoshop can simulate elements of real painting such as mixing and combining colors and paint wetness. Then the clone stamp tools. The shortcut is S. The clone stamp tool is the most basic of Photoshop's retouching tools. It samples pixels from one area of the image and paint them over pixels in another area. It is the most used tool in frequency separation. Then the pattern stamp tool. Use the pattern stamp tool to paint a pattern over the image. Then the history brush tool keyboard shortcut is Y. The history brush tool paint a snapshot from an earlier step into the current version of the image. Choose the previous state from the history panel. Then the Art History Brush Tool. The Art History Brush Tool also paints a snapshot from an earlier history state into the image, but does so using a stylized brush stroke. And then the Eraser Tool. Keyboard shortcut is E. The Eraser Tool in Photoshop permanently erases pixel on a layer. It can also be used to paint in a various history state. Then the Background Eraser Tool. The background eraser tool erases areas of similar color in an image by painting over them. And then magic eraser tool. The magic eraser tool is similar to the magic wand tool in that it selects area of similar color with a single click. But the magic eraser tool then permanently deletes those areas. And now the gradient tool and keyboard shortcut is G. The Photoshop's gradient tool draws gradual blend between multiple colors. The gradient editor lets you to create and customize your own gradient. Then the 3D material drop tool. Used in 3D modeling, the 3D material drop tool lets you sample a material from one area and then drop it into another area of your model mesh or 3D layer. And now come to the blur tool. The blur tool blurs and softens areas you paint over with the tool. Then the sharpen tool. The sharpen tool sharpens areas you paint over. And then the smudge tool. And then smudge tool. The smudge tool in Photoshop smudges and smears the areas you paint over. It can also be used to create a finger painting effect and then DOS tool keyboard shortcut is O paint over areas in the images with the DOS tool to lighten them it is a very handy tool in case of a retouching and then the burn tool the burn tool will darken the areas you paint over and then sponge tool paint over areas with the sponge tool to increase or decrease color saturation and then pen tool the keyboard shortcut is p photoshop's pen tool allows you to draw extremely precise paths vector shape or selection then freeform pen tool the freeform pen tool allows you to draw freehand paths or shapes anchor points are automatically added to the paths as you draw then the curvature pen tool the curvature pen tool is an easier simplified version of the pen tool new as photoshop cc 2018 add anchor point tool use the add anchor point tool to add additional anchor points along a path delete anchor point tool click on an existing anchor point along a path with the delete anchor point tool to remove the point convert point tool on a path, click on a smooth anchor point with the convert point tool to convert it to a corner point. Click a corner point to convert it to a smooth point. And then horizontal type tool keyboard shortcut is T, known simply as the type tool in Photoshop. Use the horizontal type tool to add a standard type 
to your document and then the vertical type tool the vertical type tool adds type vertically from top to bottom then the vertical type mask tool rather than adding editable text to your document the vertical type mask tool creates a selection outline in the shape of vertical type horizontal type mask tool like the vertical mask type tool the horizontal type mask tool creates a selection outline in the shape of type however the type is added horizontally rather than vertical then the path selection tool and keyboard shortcut is a use the path selection tool in photoshop to select and move an entire path at once direct selection tool use the direct selection tool to select and move an individual path segment anchor point or direction handle and then the rectangle tool keyboard shortcut is u the rectangle tool draws rectangular vector shapes paths or pixel shapes press and hold shift as you drag to force the shape into a perfect square then the rounded rectangle tool a rounded rectangle tool is similar to the standard rectangle tool but draws the shapes with rounded corners press and hold shift to draw a square with rounded corner and then the ellipse tool the ellipse tools draws elliptical vector shape path or pixel shapes press and hold shift as you drag to draw a perfect circle and then the polygonal tool the polygonal tool draws polygonal straight edged vector shapes paths or pixel shape use the sides option in the option bars to set the number of sides then the line tool the line tool draws straight line either as shapes or paths the width options in the option bar controls the width of the line and then the custom shape tool photoshop custom shape tool let you select and draw custom shape choose from photoshop's built-in custom shapes or create your own and after all these the navigation tools at first the hand tool and the keyboard shortcut is ace the hand tool lets you click and drag an image around on the screen to view different areas when zoomed in and then rotate view tool use the rotate view tool in photoshop to rotate the canvas so you can view and edit the image from different angles and at last the zoom tool and the keyboard shortcut is z or z click on the image with the zoom tool to zoom in on a specific area press and hold alt in windows and option in mac and click with the zoom tool to zoom out this is all about the photoshop tools and i have tried to explain all the photoshop tools almost 70 photoshop tools in a single video and this is just the overview video of all the tools in photoshop if you have any questions then comment in the comment section and if you want more basic tutorial then let me know comment in the comment section and at the end don't forget to subscribe <music>